Hello everyone, this is Hui. I'm currently on faculty at the University of Nebraska at Kearney. More information about me can be found on my website. Today, I'm going to talk about how the MS in Data Science program at Northwestern University benefited me in my career as a professor. This program was previously called the MS Program in Predictive Analytics when I was enrolled between 2012 and 2014. After I graduated from this program, I was able to incorporate different data science techniques in different areas of my research. Even though this course is more business oriented, I have used certain techniques I learned from this course in my own research. I have used GIS in conjunction with cluster and conjoint analysis to examine how Indonesians rate different aspects associated with healthcare utilization. I have also used cluster analysis with conjoint analysis to assess how older adults in the US rate different aspects pertaining to healthcare utilization. Finding from these two studies implied that the use of cluster and conjoint analysis in conjunction can serve as a need assessment tool to help policymakers and practitioners gauge individuals' expectations and priorities with respect to healthcare seeking and utilization. This course used to be called Web Analytics. I remember in one of the modules, Dr. Thomas Miller had us run some analysis using the NetLogo program. I remember I had a lot of problems just getting NetLogo started. However, Dr. Miller was very patient. Through several email correspondence and phone conferencing, he walked me through on how to get my analysis started step by step. Because of that, over the years, I have gotten more comfortable doing system science techniques with the R statistical program because of this course. And I managed to publish two journal articles using the system dynamic modeling techniques. I have benefited greatly from the techniques taught in this course. I have used GIS in conjunction with cluster analysis to examine the challenges to sustainable development in Mississippi. I have also used the two techniques in conjunction to assess county level spatial clustering of Medicare beneficiaries in Mississippi. And I have used these two techniques to examine the spatial clustering of AIDS in Indonesia. The techniques I learned in this course also resulted in a recently funded research proposal by the Research Services Council at my current university. And as you can see, the second and third objectives of these proposals involve the use of cluster analysis and association rules mining. Materials I learned from this course have also resulted in a funded proposal at my previous university and a recent publication. Cluster analysis is used to segment students based on their ethnicity, sex, grade level, dietary habits, exercise patterns, and opinions pertaining to food and vending machines in their schools. And the use of cluster analysis in conjunction with association rules mining enabled me to identify students with persistently unhealthy dietary profiles in these schools. I learned several econometrics techniques in this course, and this resulted in two publications using simultaneous equations modeling and seemingly unrelated regressions. 
I also benefited greatly from the required project management course. At my previous university, I was put in charge of a master's program. Since the majority of students from this program sought employment as program evaluators or project manager, I incorporated program evaluation in all graduate level courses pertaining to this program. Through a series of program evaluation assignments, students learn how to strategize towards a coherent project or program planning so that the goals and objectives can be attained. And project management is often integrated as part of the scheduling, budgeting, and cost analysis components of program evaluation. Overall, this master's program has helped me build tremendous momentum during my first five years as a faculty member at Delta State University and at the University of Nebraska at Kearney. I am forever grateful to Dr. Jean Herrick when she was teaching project management. She made sure that students would not go off track in terms of assignments. If students go off track, she would have teleconferencing with them so that they got their assignments right and resubmit them. I am also thankful or very thankful to Dr. Xiao Long Zhang. He wrote a letter of recommendation to me when I applied for a tenure track position at Delta State University. And he also gave me some useful advice or tips pertaining to tenure track positions and living in the South. And I am forever indebted to Dr. Miller. Not only that, I learned a lot of useful techniques in the classes I had with him. Dr. Miller also wrote letters of recommendations when I applied to faculty positions at Delta State and UNK. And I am also very grateful to Dr. Nitra Sambamuti. He also took time out of his busy schedule to write letters of recommendations to me at Delta State University and the University of Nebraska at Kearney. 